All right, hey guys, I wanted to hop on here, try and get a couple more videos up while I had a chance. My household has been very sick these last few days, so I have not been able to get these done as soon as I was hoping to. So uh, hopefully I will get through these without coughing this time. So let's talk about stun guns right now. Uh, the first one I wanna show you is the Get a Grip. This is the one that I carry with me most of the time. It's the Damsel in Defense, probably most classic one. It looks like a stun gun. Um, easy to hold in your hand and um, let me just kind of go over a few things that all of the stun guns have in common and then I'll go through and show you the ones that we have to offer so all of our stun guns come with a disable pin so they will not work unless the pin is in it so here I'm clicking it up and down nothing nothing's working put your disable pin in you have a flashlight um, all of our stun guns have a flashlight except for our biggest one, the striking distance, does not have a flashlight. Um, so they, that's a nice little tool to have on all of them. Um, all of them, it's one click up for the flashlight, two clicks up and you're ready to stun. So that is how that one works. Um, and I'll just show you real quick with the flashlight on. Disable pin is in, the flashlight's working. If an attacker were to pull the stun gun away from you, as long as you have your disable pin um, around your wrist or somewhere that you're hanging onto it, it stops working the second that the disable pin is removed, so they cannot use it against you. Um, all of the stun guns are rechargeable and you can charge them um, either in your car or in a wall charger. They come with an adapter for both. And we recommend that you charge them once a month for eight hours just to ensure that it is ready for you to use when and if you ever need it. Hopefully you don't ever actually need it. All of our stun guns come with a lifetime warranty, so um, it is a worthwhile investment. It will last you your whole life. If something malfunctions on it or is not working properly, just send your receipt in to the company and they will issue you a new one. Um, the same as with the pepper sprays, they have an incident replacement policy as well. If you are having to use your stun gun um, against someone that's attacking you and something happens to it, um, they take it from you. As long as you send in that incident report, um, police report, the company will uh, send you a new stun gun as well. So, I think that's it for everything about each of the stun guns. So again, this one is the Get a Grip. It's $70 for this one. Oh, that was one other thing. There is a battery um, life indicator on this one. So you can see when your battery is getting low. And then there you can see the little charge port right there. So the Get a Grip, $70. And these are all of the color options that are currently being offered in that one. The next stun gun is the Light It Up. This is a very, very popular one. This is the only one that the flashlight will still work um, even without the disable pin in because it is meant to be kind of a conceal stun gun. It's meant to look like a flashlight. Um, this one does not have a battery life indicator on it, but you can still charge it in your car or in the wall. Um, it's the same as the other one. One click up for the flashlight, two clicks up and you're ready to stun. <laughs> And because this one is made to look like a flashlight, it doesn't have the two prongs on it like the other one, but it is still just as powerful and just as effective at stunning. So that one is the Light It Up. Fits in your hand very easily, and as I showed on a previous video, um, it also fits in our hot little hand glove. If you prefer to carry this while you are running, um, you can hold it in there very nicely. So this one is $60, and these are currently the colors being offered. Then we have the Gotcha stun gun, and this one is meant to look like a little um, digital camera. This one is definitely my favorite. It has a lot more features to it. Um, it's called the Gotcha because 5% of the proceeds of the purchases on these go towards a house in Cambodia that Damsel in Defense has adopted um, for girls that are being rescued from sex trafficking. This house helps to rehabilitate them and um, give them a new life basically after they have been victims of sex trafficking. So gotcha, kind of like gotcha day for when you've been adopted. Um, this is the gotcha stun gun for our house in Cambodia. So
So this one um, has a flashlight, same as the other two. One click up for the flashlight, two clicks up, and you have your button up here, and you're ready to stun. So you have your two little prongs right there on this one. Um, the other cool thing that this one has um, that the others don't is a personal alarm. So that second little black button here, it doubles as an alarm. So if you're in a situation where you can't scream or you just need to draw attention to um, where you're at, awesome tool to have. And it's great that it's all in one on this. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And this one does have a battery life indicator as well. And then the other cool thing that this one has is it has a USB charge port. So if you are out and about and you need to charge any of your other electronics, you can plug them directly into this if you are not near a power outlet and you can charge your phone um, or other electronics. And then there is the charge port. This one, as well as the other ones, you can charge in your car or in the wall. So that is the Gotcha Stun Gun, and it is $80 for that one. Um, so it's a little bit more, but it does have several other really cool features, the personal alarm and the charge port. So really good one, definitely my favorite one. Okay, then the final stun gun that we have, I don't have to show you live right now. I'm waiting for the new version to come out. So this one is called Striking Distance. And it is, the new ones will be 16 inches long. The current one that is available is 14 inches long. If you want to order one now, you can get it for half price while there's still some left. So that would be $35. Regularly, these are $70. So when the new ones come out, they will be $70. Um, but the reason that they're re-releasing it is they're making it a little bit bigger, but they're also adding um, more features to it, such as being able to charge it in your car or in the wall. But as far as the stunning capabilities goes, they are both just as powerful as um, each other. So this one, I do not recommend for carrying. It is meant more for a home self-defense tool. So something to have like on your nightstand at night. Um, those two strips there, there's a strip on each side and those are stun strips. So this one, is definitely a major ouch and it does carry some residual charge if you have um, stunned or turned the stun function on if you were to grab that end accidentally or on purpose you would definitely still feel some of that charge through there so that's why this is not one that you want to carry in your purse um, especially um, in the event that you would have to use it it would still be carrying some charge in it um, but it has the disable pin just like the other ones do and again, has the capability to be charged in your car or in the wall. And it comes in black or pink, and that one is $70. So I think that is it as far as the stun guns go. Um, I just wanted to make sure that um, I mentioned that when you're using a stun gun, if you ever have to use one on an attacker, you wanna make sure that you are using it on large muscle groups, if at all possible. Um, I mean, hit them wherever you can. It's going to hurt them no matter where you hit them but if you hit and focus on a larger muscle group, you will be disabling that person for a little bit longer period of time. Um, also, same as with the pepper sprays, you are not stunning and sticking around. This tool is to help you get away. So you stun and you run to get help. Um, if that person is really wanting to come after you, this is basically just going to stop them for enough time for you to get away. It's not going to render them unconscious or anything on the ground. So keep that in mind and um, make sure to ask me any questions. If you have any questions that I did not cover in this little video, I just wanted to get a chance to demonstrate some of what the features are for you. So thanks guys. We'll talk to you later.